Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with right now. And what are you thinking about each other? What are your feelings towards each other? So let's get into this. What messages do you have for Pisces? Pisces, angels, guys. What messages do you have for Pisces? Going on for Pisces. Going on for Pisces. Seven. Okay, so this is the strength card reverse. And the Empress reversed. Wow. Legal energy here with strength. Empress reverse. So I feel like for a lot of you, this connection possibly hasn't grown as fast as you would like or in the direction that you would like. Tell me more for Pisces. I feel like you're struggling to bring things back into balance or almost like uh, maybe trying to control how this ends up or how this goes. Um, if it's, this isn't you, it's probably your person. Where they're trying to bring control into a situation that maybe has gotten out of control or isn't on the path that they feel it should be on. Tell me more for Pisces. Ooh, Three of Cups. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands Reverse. There might be more than one person here. We'll see. I'm going to clarify these. Tell me more for Pisces. Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Swords. I love these, these cards with like it's like um foiled interesting this person's moving quickly or wants to communicate quickly or there's communication possibly going back and forth here someone wants to communicate in this connection but i feel like the other person isn't interested or isn't responding the way they hoped Let me clarify these energies for Pisces, please. It's almost like someone wants to talk, wants to really get things moving, and the other person is dragging their feet. Or isn't as open or as willing. Let's see, Pisces. What's going on here? Let me clarify these energies for Pisces, please, Spirit. What's going on here? Tell me about Strength card reverse. Why is Strength reverse? Three of Swords. Why is strength reverse? Six of wands reverse. Someone's very hurt at things not progressing, not succeeding. Things have not gone the way that they hoped they would. That's just the message I keep getting. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Someone here could be attached financially or dependent on someone else. Um, maybe they are attached or not free of a person or a situation. Judgment reverse. And this was a mistake or someone got themselves into this mess without thinking. 
This could be you or your person, Pisces. Again, with the Three of Swords, there could be a third person here. Let's see. Tell me about this Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups about? Five of Swords Reverse. What's this Three of Cups about? Wow. There you are, Pisces, with the moon. I feel like someone here could have been unfaithful or had more than one person. Tell me about the Three of Cups, and I don't know why I keep getting these readings. Or there's something here that's unclear about another person. Eight of Swords. Someone feeling bound, restricted, overthinking, not seeing a way out, blind, stuck. I feel like someone is not seeing a way out of their situation or feeling, letting their mind control them, like their fears because there's something that's un, like they're unsure, confused, or there's like a something that they want to keep hidden. Tell me about this moon. Why is the moon here? Aries energy with the emperor. We have the emperor and the empress. Why is the moon here? I know something is hidden. Why is the moon here? <laughs> Someone's hiding something out of protection. They're not communicating, not taking action. They are probably hiding something or keeping something to themselves because they don't trust someone else or because they're trying to protect themselves. What is going on, Pisces? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. I feel like this Queen of Wands Reverse is like these two queens, the Empress and the Queen of Wands Reverse, being um, in this position like this. It's like they're they're very upset, upset and hurt. So I don't know if this is the same person being upset and hurt or two people. The Three of Cups was clarified by the Moon, so it could very well be that there is a third person that you don't know about, or some sort of interference that is a secret, or the interference is the fact that someone's not being very open. And it's interfering in this connection. Tell me about the King of, not the King, the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords? This could be unexpected news. Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands. The Star and the Three of Cups. Aquarius Energy with the Star. Eight of Cups at the bottom. What in the world? I feel like these three cards are all about like coming together, healing, or having faith or hope in something. It's like this Queen of Wands has hope to reunite with someone or come together with someone. This could be their wish. But there's this Ten of Wands in the way. What's this Ten of Wands about? There's the Ten of Wands here. Someone doesn't have the courage. Is this about courage? Yes. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Strength reverse. <laughs> Literally a card about lack of courage. Or unable to control or trying to control something too much. But I think this is Spirit confirming to me that someone's scared someone's scared and they're letting their fear control them 
and they're not fighting back when they should. They're letting this Ten of Wands overwhelm them and control their life. This is this is someone that is doesn't have the guts to do what they want to really do. This could be you or your person. And I feel like they are attached to something that they wish they weren't attached to because it's not successful, it's not growing, it's not expanding, but they're not doing what they need to do. Instead, they're, they're like this. So let's see, how is this person thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck, my first physical deck, which is out now. You can purchase this. Um, it's linked down in the description box on Etsy. What is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces? Spirits, angels, guides. What is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces, please? I still check up on you. What is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces? I feel like this is someone that it's like you both want to reunite and come together, but this is like in the way. I don't know what to do. Can I get one more? I don't necessarily agree with that. I think they know what to do. They just don't want to do it. You make me happy. Okay. So let's see. Let's find out more about what they're thinking or feeling. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling. When it comes to Sagittarius, not Sagittarius, Pisces. So maybe you could be dealing with a Sagittarius though. We did have the Queen of Wands show up. How is this person thinking or feeling about Pisces? Tell me more, Spirit, about how they're thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces or this connection. The High Priestess. Tell you they're hiding something or they're not saying something. Yep, King of Swords Reverse. This person, mm, I don't know if you're communicating with this person. The High Priestess could be that there's no communication. But if there was communication, I don't think this person knows how to say what they need to say or they don't want to say what they need to say. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, this person might be wanting to make you some sort of an offer here with the Page of Pentacles, but this is small offer, you know, it's almost like let's go out for a drink, but let's meet up somewhere, you know, hang out. Um, that's what they, when they think about you and they, they think about this connection, they think about wanting to start something with you. That is for sure. But this King of Swords reverse with this High Priestess, it worries me. Tell me, actually, let me use a different deck. Let me clarify these energies for Pisces, please. Tell me about the High Priestess. That was sloppy. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. Why is the High Priestess here? Okay. Tower reverse. This person, again, they don't want to rock the boat. Tell me about the High Priestess. Six of Cups, aw. Look at this. So beautiful. I feel like they know that this is a very strong connection. Queen of Wands Reverse. But they, they don't want to mess with this Queen of Wands Reverse, whoever they are. Whoever this Queen of Wands reverse is, they don't want to mess with her. Or him. It's just a feminine energy, but we all have feminine and masculine within us. So it could be a male energy as well. But what I'm seeing here is someone doesn't want to upset someone else. Tell me about this King of Swords reverse. Page of Pentacles. So this is about the offer. They're not going to tell you everything or something like that. Tell me about the King of Swords. 
four of cups reverse ace of swords so is this some sort of like really important communication here with the um ace of swords isn't that fun i love the foil um but i am also picking up it's almost like it's almost like you know what i'm picturing i'm picturing someone that tells you everything they feel about you um they they are very open and honest about their feelings for you and you know all that good stuff but they're still leaving out this whole other part that they just didn't talk about tell me about this page of pentacles almost like ignoring the elephant in the room king of swords yep this person, when they think about you, they think about talking to you. Getting their wish granted because right now they're not happy. Oops. Seven. Oh, two of cups reverse. Seven of cups reverse. Bottom of the deck, page of swords. So I feel like this person, um, you know, I hate to say this because I don't want to upset anybody or but I feel like this person is not thinking in reality. This is someone who I don't know, it's almost like they want to ignore reality in order to have some even small bite of happiness. So let's see, what are their next actions going to be towards you? Because clearly they want to talk to you and make you an offer. I feel like that's pretty clear. Um, I just don't know how far that's really going to go or if that's just like an idea, a dream that they have. What are they actually going to do about it? Let's see. Tell me more about this person's next actions towards Pisces. Tell me about this person's next actions towards Pisces. What are their next actions towards Pisces going to be? So I'm going to pick a few cards here for their next actions, and then I'm going to dive in uh, more, more in more detail in the extended. I'm going to look at their true intentions towards you, what's blocking the connection between you, and what's the potential outcome after all is said and done in the near future here. The Tower Reverse, the Sun card Reverse. What are their next actions going to be? Again, I see this person trying to avoid a Tower, the Magician. Interesting. So they are going to make something happen here. Let's see. But why is this Tower Reverse? Tell me about this Tower Reverse. Why is the Tower Reverse? Seven of Cups reverse. Because it's not interesting. Tell me about the Tower reverse. Knight of Wands reversed. I feel like this person. In order to avoid a tower, they're going to make a mistake. They don't know what to do. This is that I don't know what to do card. Two of Swords. So I don't really see them making a decision here. I see them... I, it's almost like I see them refusing to make a decision because it's easier for them. That way they can avoid a tower but also they don't have to commit to anything else. And that's the wrong choice. Tell me about the sun reverse. Nine of cups reverse. Yeah, there's is someone that's not happy. Whatever their next actions are going to be, they're not going to be happy. I feel like they're not uh, thinking about being happy though. They're thinking about self-preservation. Five of Swords reverse. Wow, the wheel. Is this upright? No, it's uh, it's reversed. The wheel reversed. 
I just don't think things are going to work out for this person. And I feel for them because I feel like they know they've gotten themselves into a hole. And in their mind, it's like, maybe it's too late or maybe it's too hard or there's no way I can do that. So what's this magician about? Why is the magician here? That's way too many, but we got the Nine of Swords there. Fear. What's the magician doing here for Pisces? Eight of Pentacles reverse. Again, um, tell me more about the magician before I say anything. It could also be this person's waiting for the right time. Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, no. This person. Whatever they're manifesting, they don't want to actually put work into it. Again, it's like this. They're not living in reality. They're not thinking about things in re realistic terms. Seven of Swords Reverse. So someone getting caught in the act. It's like getting caught in a lie. Okay, one more for this magician. The moon again. There you are, Pisces. So there's something hidden here about this person. It's almost like this person gets caught in a lie or... Or it benefits them to keep things hidden. That's just the energy that I'm picking up there. So be very careful, Pisces, because I feel like there's something here that you don't know or that you don't realize about this person. And they like that. They like keeping that that way. You know? Could also be that this person, um, I don't know, it's almost like they need to avoid this tower at all costs. And it's like they expect you to understand and go along with it. That's for some of you there. Um... But I don't think that you are. I think the only reason that it has worked out so far for this person is because you don't know the complete truth. I don't know if that's... This is a very specific reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, but if it did resonate with you, please let me know down in the comments um, if it resonated for you. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, okay, I will leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.